This video is sponsored by Squarespace. What's going on guys, Vincent here from the creative dojo.net. Welcome to another episode of Dojo TV, a show where we talk about all things motion design and visual effects. For our first set of stories, we have news from Maxon. They are adding 50 plus 4K premium tile textures to the Maxon Capital Collection, designed to bring photorealism to artists' renderings by adding minor flaws and imperfections to surface of 3D objects. They license the Surface Imperfections Volume 1 Texture Library by David Gruer, which includes scratches and dust and specks, smudges, fingerprints, hairs, residues, and other real scanned surfaces, and made available for free to all Maxon 1 and Cinema 4D subscription members. You can find it in the asset library in the textures slash imperfections category. There's a new plugin for Figma called Anynix and its goal is to make UI animations easy. A lot of time designers and developers will design their UI in Figma and export them to different applications to create the animations. The tools attempt to keep everything in-house. They have a flexible key from an animation system where you can share animation specs with others to create consistent systems. There are animation presets, curve editors, and you can export your animations directly to Lottie files. Check it out down below. Also rip Figma for being acquired by Adobe. Charles Zager with Premium B dropped a new video talking about Topaz Labs Video Enhanced AI. I've always heard great things about this software to upscale footage since it uses AI models to intelligently upscale, denoise, and restore footage. It's interesting to see how it compares to Adobe's variant of this. You can use it to convert footage to higher frame rates as well and achieve slow motion effects, kind of like old school Twixter. It's a great video comparison as Charles shows you exactly what the software can do and how it compares to other popular alternatives on the market. Check it out down below. The folks over at Adobe released a massive document titled Best Practices and Workflow Guide for Long Form Episodic Post Production. It's basically an epic guide for street experts and the Adobe engineers talking about a wide range of things such as how to configure and optimize your settings, best practices for offline dailies and workflows and more. From what I've read, this guide in Premiere took a very long time to produce and contains a lot of gems, especially if you're a heavy Premiere user for the industry. Think hardware settings, proxy workflows, multi-camera editing, dynamic links, cloud workflows and more. I'm not a really huge fan of Premiere myself, it just doesn't feel snappy to me, but it's what I use and by no means am I their ideal user. The folks over at Cavalry dropped another tips and tricks video, this time explaining the sort, shuffle, and mass distribution functions and how they can be used to manipulate how shapes are placed. You guys already know how I feel about Cavalry, so if you're looking for a powerful and procedural modern motion design tool, check Cavalry out. Before we go any further, I want to give you a quick thanks for responses over at Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. Squarespace is a one platform to create an amazing website which is for your store, online business, or portfolio. They have amazing themes to choose from, fully customizable so you can make the way you want it to look like without having any coin knowledge required. They have awesome 25 hour support and best of all, use the promo code DOJO at checkout. You can actually save 10% off your order and support the DOJO. Check it out over at squarespace.com slash DOJO. Squarespace, the number one place to create an amazing website. Premium B is always dropping the free goods and assets. This time they released 25 free glass textures ranging from dirty to clean. The pack is filled with smudges and dust and water spots and other artifacts that were photographed from real world glass. You can never have too many assets in your library, so grab them now and use them in your personal and commercial projects. If you've ever used the echo effect in After Effects to make trails and motion blur, you've probably noticed how unintuitive and complicated it can be to create simple looks. The folks over at Battle Axe made a preset and rigged up the effect to be a lot more intuitive using some clever expressions so you can quickly dial in the number of frames and length. Everything is based on the on-screen motion that involves the position, rotation, scale, and even parented movement of the object. It's a free preset so definitely check it out if you ever intend on using the echo effect. LFME did a random of the top 10 free effect packs for Premiere Pro. Who doesn't like freebies? Add some of these packs into your stock arsenal. They include some CRT assets, God Rays, Lens, FX, Stranger Things, Title, Social Media, Track Mats, Falls, Glitches, Computer Screen Templates, and Zoom Transitions. Check out the video down below. If you've used a CC Toner effect, you need to check out this preset called CC Toner Plus by AE Cartographer. It's a rigged up preset that automatically interpolates colors between the highlights and shadows, it features three different modes, it comes with a lot of other color controls. You can use this to really drive color palettes in your designs. It's also a name your own price preset, so check it out down below. Lastly, your friends over at Action VFX released three new tutorials. The first one is how to create this VFX lightning from Thor, Love and Thunder. The tutorial uses their free lightning pack and you'll learn how to create intense glows, how to use electric arcs and beams, and how to composite it all together. Speaking of Thor, they have another tutorial on how to make the Thor flying hammer effect. You'll learn how to use frame dropping to make movements more intense and impactful, how to use tracks and masks in Mocha and AE, and how to remove objects in Photoshop. I also recently got into Stranger Things and Action VFX also released a new tutorial on how to build the upside down environment from the series, use it to build dark, horror, suspenseful, or sci-fi scenes. You'll learn how to use a nodal pan camera to track and composite elements, how to create glowing portals and atmosphere, and how to fake vines using fractal noise. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. If you guys like videos like this, give this video a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below for the YouTube algorithm, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.